What's going on, everybody? Kaka Kaka, just a Ravens fan. I'm just a Ravens fan. I'm here with my boy, Coach K. You know, I keep the clip going on me. Yes, sir. What's the word with you today, man? Yeah, like we say, it's Founders Day, baby. 27 years ago, the Ravens became the Ravens <clears throat> without Lamar Jackson. But well, we this, became the Ravens without the Ravens. Say that, whole, say that one more time, because I'm feeling messy today. Say it one more time. We became the Ravens 27 years ago without Lamar Jackson. You I mean, the Colts walked out on us, and we ended up fine. The Colts walked out. Who, who, was, who was that legendary quarterback? They, they took, um, I can't believe I'm Somebody, so sorry. I'm United. Yeah. Somebody, he, Johnny Johnny United. Hey, yo, they, went, they went and skedaddled on us. Took the, took the records, everything. They don't even want to consider. They don't even want to talk about the more Colts. Mm. Ravens came in, came in 96. We've been fine ever since. We've been made Hall of Famers ever since. But I ain't, don't get me started, though. Don't get me started too quick. Hold on. Don't get me started too quick. Two, two rings. We here for two reasons, though. We we on here today for two reasons. One, Founders Day, of course. We got to celebrate. Yeah, man. I got my joints. We say, I got my thing ready. We celebrating. We celebrating Founders Day, baby. For two. For two. Your man, your man on, he on Twitter negotiating again. He on Twitter negotiating again, bro. What we doing? He on Twitter, painting narratives, painting pictures. What we doing, yo? What, what we doing? He he got us back here again, talking, speaking on the same thing. Why are we doing this on Twitter? And my thing is, when the Ravens come out and speak, no, it, it ain't too early. It ain't too early. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the chat. You too. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the chat. We live on Twitch. Followers, follow, uh, follows on Twitch. We be going live. Uh, Vino X Ray on say, uh, my boy Top Boy, shut your Twitch out real quick, bro. Yes, sir. Top Boy for one. Now we on there. Yeah. So go live, my damn self. Yeah. Shoot. <clears throat> yeah. Do all that. But um, he got us on here. Keep coming on here, doing the same thing, saying the same thing over and over. But he on. But now. For some reason, he think his Twitter, his Twitter fans, and his feed is. I think he believes that's the majority view on on his on his situation, bro. I gotta agree with you on that. Um, at the end of the day, this is him being in a press conference and talking to people. This is why when you don't have an agent, maybe you do got somebody behind the scenes. But um, Twitter is his negotiation platform. That's how he see it. So that's why you're on there. I mean, he's showing gratitude. Like you said earlier, uh, he painting a picture for it. He painting a picture showing that he's not the bad guy. Is he the bad guy? And it's so to speak, uh, i say it's 60-40. I ain't going to put it all on Lamar. It's 60-40. It's better ways to go about it. It's a traditional way to go about it. Is he bringing a traditional way of going about it? Yes. Is it a bad thing? No. It just doesn't work for him. What he's asking for is crazy. And let me go and reverse it. If he takes the two fifty million deal, the one thirty three, the seven five million, also guaranteed with the uh, with the wins included, incentives included, he made a hell of a deal. Because mind y'all, that contract is the second highest paid contract in the NFL, a, a quarterback position. So if he would have did that all on Twitter, he signed that contract. We'll be praising him. We'll be clapping our hands. It's just he go. If he had an so agent, he, he signed that contract. contract. For sure, for sure. So it's not like he's not going about it the right way. It's just he's digging himself deep in a hole, <clears throat> I would say. Bro, every time he get on Twitter talking that bullshit, he might as well be – he might he playing with his own shovel. He playing with his – he digging deeper and deeper, getting on Twitter. Like, who, who is who is okay in this? Like, who's going to sit back and advise you to speak on – to speak on these matters. You see how the Ravens handle it when it's time for us to speak on things. We keep it very vague. We uh, we express that we want you here, and we express that we're trying to work things out. You could do the same thing. You don't gotta paint. You don't gotta paint the picture as if we 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 the problem. Cause we could we could paint the picture like you the problem. Oh, we oh, we never got on a podium, and so we offered him this deal, this deal, and this deal. Where he just didn't want to take it. Maybe he should. He he just don't understand the worth of the team. He just don't understand the value of being a Raven. Ain't nobody I ain't see nobody get on the press conference and say, "Oh, Lamar just don't understand the uh value of being a Raven." I don't understand that, bro. I don't get it. You can't do that. Yeah, I agree. I think uh the Ravens have spoken about him highly. Everybody that comes around him is highly. He's not a bad guy. I mean, as we can see in the league, um 
a lot of teams that do talk to them, you know, when they do finish playing, they go talk to them after the game. They they got nothing but high praise. Uh, who was it? Uh, Tom Brady, all those big names. Uh, Josh Allen, even um Joe. Uh, what was Bengals? Uh, I can't think of his name right now. Oh, Joe Burrow. So it's not like he's a bad guy and everything. It's just when it comes to negotiating and making deals, you gotta become a let those <clears throat> do let the let the people who do that do that pretty much. Let people do their job. So in that in other words, you need an agent. Let the agent be an agent. You be a player. You be a player. I think it's just too much uh going on. And I keep hearing saying know your worth, know your worth. And like I said last time. Well, what is his worth? What is what is the deal that he do want? I think that's just what I'm just trying to figure out here. I think that just need to be go ahead and be exploited. Is it everything? Because I'm hearing it. one minute they don't want fully guaranteed. Next minute he kind of wants something guaranteed. I just think we just got here from the horse's mouth. Just say, hey, this is the number I'm looking for. Can you guys go ahead and match it, or can we have someone come out there and do it? That's simple. I might. We might as well hear it out the horse's mouth when he's saying this. On the screen, <laughs> I got it live on the oh. screen right here. Ten fifty six at night. He, he he ain't getting his new. He ain't getting his beauty rest. Getting ready for the gym. He at night trying to he he up trying to stir up some shit. My man in the comments, my bro say he too young. He gonna express his mind through socials. He cause he don't know no better. Man, he like twenty six year old and he been in the NFL for like four years. Ain't no too young. And you're not supposed to be negotiating no business when we talking hundreds of million dollars on no motherfucking social media. When you talking to your fans, bro, you got millions of your fans on your social media, bro. They all gonna I, do, you I, gonna I pump your head them. up. You gonna pump your head up to think you agree with he, what? You too young? Yeah, I agree with the comment. Uh, uh, the Punisher. I agree with the Punisher. Uh, with that comment. 100%. He's young. Like you said, I understand age, but you, as we normally say, age don't mean anything. Uh, it's just a number at the end of the day. You got to realize he ain't really start becoming a man to what? The last three years of his uh, career. He's been in there since five. And he already did what? His first agent was his mother. I ain't going to say that's a big mistake, but um, as we know in this game, you got to you gotta outsource. So that's it. He's too young. He didn't know any game. Then he went and got an agent, fired the agent, because he wanted to keep all the money for himself. That's young moves. I agree. I agree with the Punisher. A hundred percent. He young. Okay. You know, and next thing we know to do is do what? Go to social media and complain where we can get attention. Think about if social media wasn't in effect. Let's say he played back in 2016, I mean 2006, 2007, where social media wasn't popular. We wouldn't be having this conversation. That deal would have got sound already. Literally. Literally, bro. But, mm -hmm. but I mean, but it's, I don't know. I hear you on a too young thing, but it's just yeah. Some things, some things is some things is common sense, bro. Yeah. Look, now I don't know where this came from. I don't know why he randomly uh, wanted to say this, but I just wanted to read this tweet real quick. I don't remember me sitting out on my guys week one versus Jets, week twelve versus Broncos. How come all of a sudden I sit out because of money in which I could have got hurt at any time within that time frame when we know the Super Bowl been on my mind since April two thousand eighteen. Why? What? What are we talking about here? Why? Why? Why tweet this? And then, I, and then after that, it say, "Let's get real." I have rather, I'd rather have a hundred percent PCL than go out there and play horrible, forcing myself to put my guys in a bad situation. Now that's selfish to me. Uh, what do, What do PCL mean? Do you Do you know the acronym for that? I don't. I didn't understand what that PCL was. I thought I think, it was a... I think that's. I think that's a ligament in your body. I think that's. Oh like yeah, yeah, wait, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, 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 yeah. That's the injury day. Okay. Yeah, because you know you, you you tore his PCL up, but he was running up and down the sidelines. Like what is going on? Stay today. All right, all right. I get what he's saying. He he can't play hurt and risk his uh, I risk bringing the team down or risk furthering the injury. I understand that, but since we need deep in drama and Twitter and social media, since since everybody get to express themselves on social media, now I'm ready to express myself on social media. <laughs> Go ahead. Lamar, I think you was capping. If if I'm just being real about the injuries in the last two years and then the context of what's been going on, I think I think I think you was capping, buddy. I don't know if you was I don't know if you were injured. I really don't know. 
I'm really not sure. I, I I seen you uh go out on the game, not not really get hit too hard or whatever, and then I see you running up and down the sideline the next game, cheering people on, and then the game after that, I don't see you on the sideline. When people call you out, you ain't on the sidelines no more. Then furthermore, if you are hurt, and it ain't no bad blood, it just was, and you just want your money. It ain't no bad blood, Ravens this, Ravens that. You just you just want your bread. Then why, oh yeah, supercharged in the building, it's ready to get lit. Then why the hell do you not come to the playoff game? Let me get you back up, Coach Gad. Then why you don't come Appreciate to the playoff it. game? You got supercharged in the building, I'm ready to get him up. I'm ready to get him up soon, too. Yeah, let's lock him in, let's lock him in. Matter of fact, let me get that. Uh... Yo, 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 supercharged. What's up, bro? What's up, What's up bro? Oh yeah, you sound good. Yes, sir. What's up, supercharged? Let's get this back on the screen for Kelsey. Yeah, yeah. We got last Super Charge going to take the floor. What you think about this whole NFL versus Lamar Jackson situation, baby? Um, honestly, bro, I kind of I, I see both sides of it. You feel me? I can't I can't sit here and say that I don't see Lamar's side, but um, I also feel like. I also feel like it's some it's it's way more than what we see and what we've been told. I agree. I I think it's I, that's why I just was telling people today. I think it's a lot that's going. I know those players they talk. It's I mean like I like I uh like I told my I told your boy the other day. I feel as though even if everybody do come back, that that locker room different now. You already got J.K. fuming because he didn't get the ball last year on the goal line. You already got Lamar feuding because he didn't get that bridge. We just let one of our leaders go, which is Campbell. So now the locker room really in shambles if you're thinking about it. Now, who want to go ahead and play with this team and fight hard now? And our locker room are already dismantled. And we got John Harbaugh lying. He can't tell a truth to save his life. <laughs> is, he, is he lying or is he, or is he just not telling the whole world inside the Ravens business or is he not he lying. being disgruntled like he Lamar, like Lamar here being disgruntled but he just say Lamar out here telling the truth he out he saying he he keeps saying he wasn't offered a contract even though it's reporters that little that credible reporters say he that, that said that he was and showed us the good contract he was offered so my only thing is look I see both sides too but my thing is why do you why do we gotta keep bringing it to social media to paint these narratives, bro? What's this? Because then you know I feel like, go ahead, bro. My, my, I ain't mean to cut you off. But I feel as though, I feel as though it's, it need to be brought to social media because that's we in the era of social media. That's just how we all communicate now. That's so, what the Punisher was saying. Uh, so them fans don't pay. Them fans ain't gonna pay him a dollar. Well, he ain't, he ain't gonna pay the fans a dollar either. Actually, the fans do they, they, they not the ones. Oh, they're not, oh, they're not, they're not in the gym. They not in the gym with him. We he, pay. He, he, make, he make merch off of of, of fans. Who is it? They not in the gym with him. Yeah, that's a that's a fact. That's cool. That's, they not. Yeah, that's not, we, we, we ain't we ain't going over the playbooks. These are the <laughs> stuff. We ain't going over his contract. The fans online don't even understand the contracts. These niggas think it's mad. <laughs> They want, they want us to reconstruct everything to get shit done. They don't know what they talking about. Ain't no need to get no here. But who, then you got who, people like Bob Rand that come up and say this. Look, oh, let's look at this real quick, boy. And I'm about to go ahead, bro. I just want to, I just want to read this from what Marlon Wayne said. When you, when you come in and you want to get the world involved with inside business, when we claiming that it's all love and we just trying to get a deal done, in which we supposed to be coming in the middle. Now we got Marlon Wayans coming in saying this. Look. I'm disappointed in the NFL and the owners. This Lamar Jackson situation feels unfair and racist. Pay that man. It doesn't matter who his reps are. I'll be right back. MJ's mother made his Nike deal. Now he's a billionaire. Stop this bullshit. I'm counseling my red zone and boycotting. It just continues. Come on, bro. Let me, let me start. So, that so, red, so, that red so, what, what, what do you feel like? It's just totally wrong, man. What's racist about what's going on? What's I racist? Say racist. I, don't, I don't fully agree with the racist part. 
don't fully agree. That's, that's that. my biggest problem with it. That was okay. my biggest, yeah, biggest problem with the statement was the racist part. I don't see nothing don't racist feel, about what's happening. I don't feel fully, I don't fully agree with, with the racist part, but I honestly think it's something going on with the NFL, bro. There's no way. There's no going way. On like what? Listen to me, bro. How, how does an a league MVP still not even have offers from other teams? That's one. That's one. And on top of that, how is oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me backtrack. Let me backtrack to to the media thing. I feel as though I feel as though as far as media goes. When you say when you say that you should be keeping all this information in house and all that, everything, it, everything being leaked, bro. Like literally everything around this man is if it is true or isn't true, it's gonna be on the media regardless. So why not why not have why have all these all these everybody speaking on certain situations that's not true, and why not answer to the fans instead of setting statically. Steady ignoring them and just letting people feel how you want to feel like you're not a human at the end of the day. I agree with that, Supercharge. I agree that with that. Not, that man ain't getting on there and saying how you feel. That man is getting on there and help. He's ex- explaining his, his side of the he story, bro. narrative, bro. His he's side of the story, of but his story. side, but when explaining his side of the story, he's not telling the whole story, though. And neither are y'all when y'all say that the NFL was conspiring against him because he had MVP and nobody offered them deals. That ain't the whole story. <clears throat> that ain't the whole story. The whole I feel like I feel like the the whole sum of everything is they don't want to dish out that Deshaun Watson contract. No more. Facts. So and what's fact, the problem with that, bro? Listen, it's going to start an uproar, bro. It's going to start an uproar. It is. I'm not saying that's a it problem. It should. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that's a problem. The problem lies in where it's like, okay, y'all don't want to give him with uh, the Sean Watson contract. That's cool, right? But if that's the I, – I don't know. I just feel like – You cutting out. You cutting out, Brody. You lost, you lost. I had a call. My, I had a call. My bad. You <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You said you feel like what though? You cutting out. You cutting out. I'm gonna drop you and get you back in. I'm gonna drop you and get you back in. Let me take over for Super Charles because I think I know where he was going with this. Yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. I take over. As 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 you can go back to your videos, I said the same thing. You go ahead and let him sign this sign the same deal that Deshaun Watson did. It's going to start an uproar. I'm gonna show you how it's going to start an uproar. Because now, what's 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 stopping Kirk Cousins from getting this deal? He took his team to the playoffs. He got a couple. He got a couple things going on. They got a couple deep ones. Now every team we going to expect to get this payout. Like we said, this is a business at the end of the day. Much as we feel we are fans and teams, it's a business. A lot of billionaires run this thing. So here they is. They don't want this to become the norm. I don't even so, think it's that, yo. I don't even think it's that. I don't think they give a I damn do, about. Bro. I don't think they give a damn about that being a norm. I don't think they care about that little peasy ass two hundred million. These is billionaires. Like I don't. I don't think it's that, bro. These. These other teams, LA and all that, they dishing out money, garage selling players off. They don't give a damn about that money. That's not what the these is the facts. These is the back facts. Ready, hold on, hold on, real quick. Yeah, you back on, but, but you gotta wait real quick. Because I'm ready to tell you the facts, and I'm ready to tell Coach Cam the facts of the situation. The judge is not speaking on. Lamar Jackson sure. is not worth the fucking guaranteed money. Deshaun Watson is not worth the guaranteed money. Kyler Mary well, is not paid. worth the guaranteed money, bro. Period. Point blank, period. These players that want the money is not worth the money, so you're not going to get the money. These other teams, they came out and they stated for a fact, they stated that they want to go, they wanted to go in another direction. He had two injuries in the last two years, and they think it's because of his style of play. They don't know if they can even keep up with his style of play. They don't know if they can duplicate his style of play in their organization. It is much more than just a tab to pick up when you get Lamar Jackson. It's coming with a whole system change. It's coming with way more than just that hefty ass tab. 
I yes, agree. the tab is happy. But at the end so of the day, it. no, they're not all conspiring against him and trying to keep the salaries low because of it. No. Because if Jalen Hurts come out balling and balling and balling, he's going to get – if, if Jalen Hurts has two more years like this when his contract is coming up, he's going to get the money Lamar Jackson wants. Period. Period. It ain't about that. He ain't worth the money. Y'all, y'all confused. You, you, you got some type of speaking noise going on, bro. Yeah, you know how looking, bro. Oh, I will. Bad, bad, bad. Let me meet you real quick, Todd. Finish my rant. Y'all keep on using these smoking mirrors and highlights to uh to, to disguise what's really happening. You don't get the higher contract when you're on a decline. You get your contract when you're on an up. If you want to argue that we should have we should have paid him. Back when he got the MVP, we should have just flat out extended him. Then we could argue that. I'll have a counter argument for it, but we could argue that. And that would be a way better argument. But if you want to argue that in 2023, he is so demanding of $230 million guaranteed, whatever he's worth. Oh, just, just give him a pen and give him the contract and let him write his own check. Like, no. If you, if you want to argue that, you're lying because you don't get paid on a decline. He's not even throwing for 3,000, 3,500 yards no more. He ain't, it ain't, bro, it ain't lit. It ain't lit. There ain't no playoff games being won. It, it, it ain't lit, bro. You want to keep on, and then you want to say we ain't putting nothing around him. That ain't true either. Let me see if my man supercharged. Hey, uh, hey, like, hold, like hold. Hello, hold Yo. When you say, when you say, yeah, we ain't put nothing around him. Oh, you when you say that we lied, Sam, we, we didn't put nothing around him. Lies. Who you? Who you? Who? Who did we really? We went and drafted. Was... We went and drafted. Uh, Bateman Hollywood came in with him. Mark okay. Andrews. Okay. Mark Andrews Bateman. one of them niggas. Bateman got hurt. Mark Andrews a tight end, not a receiver. And he one of them so... niggas, and he's his. No, 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 no. Let, let's stick to his position now. He a tight end and not a receiver. But we talking so, about putting weapons around him. He's a weapon, is he not? Okay, so name another. Duvernay is a weapon, is he not? Duvernay got hurt, did he not? Plenty of people got hurt. That's not the point. People going to get hurt is football. What I'm but saying we put is, bro, these weapons, put around him, these, bro. These weapons that, that you keep self, like, that, that you could claim it, yeah, you, yeah, everybody has their spots, bro. They professionals. They supposed to have, they supposed to be able to do something, or else they shouldn't be getting paid. They professional. So yeah, they supposed to have a little, have some some shine here and there. But far as people that's actually finna contribute, bro, the Ravens ain't spending no real money on for him. Bro, you don't because they not spending no money because we've proven that we don't got to spend a billion dollars on the offense to win. We've proven that. You've been watching this. I know you're not a fair weather fan. I don't know what I don't know what your, your love for Lamar is. I don't know why you love this guy so much. But I know you are a real Ravens fan. I know this. So I ain't going to violate you and take your flat card. But, I, but, but, but we've already proven that you don't have to spend a ton on offense to, to make it happen. You have to Buddy have the is. pieces on offense. We have the Buddy pieces is. on offense. Greg Roman, uh, if you – the biggest issue was Greg Roman. That's a fact. Which Kev on his way back in. Phone, dog. We've had the – Bonehead. We've had, we've had the pieces. We had the damn pieces. We had pieces. And these pieces are going to show y'all. Once we get the damn coordinated together, that's what I feel. I feel like it's disrespectful to keep saying these wide receivers ain't, ain't capable. We, we just seen Pat Mahomes go out and do it with Veldad Scanton, McCole Hartman, and, and, and Sky Moore. Who's that? Look at who, who, who's that? Who, who, who got 1,000 yards out of those guys? Who got 800 out of those guys? Tell me that. Oh no! I don't like. Well, I, I don't tell you, none of them, niggas. None of them. And Mahomes getting, and that was the comparisons when they first came in. Mahomes, Lamar, Mahomes, Lamar. You hear that anymore? About left in the dust on that. Mahomes got his money, but we still supposed to pay pay Lamar what Mahomes got. But he got left in the dust. Not even a. It wasn't even huh? I think what he won in three. Come on, bro. Stop it. He just ain't worth what y'all saying. What, what he think? 
You gotta I don't humble up. I don't, I don't agree, bro. Like literally, bro, bro literally done saved us countless of times. Justin like, Tucker done saved us countless of times. You think Justin hey, Tucker hey, deserved two hundred and thirty million? Hey, so so was Flat go worth his contract? Oh yes, he won a pool. Don't get me started, yo. Don't get me oh, mad. Oh, oh, Don't oh, get me oh, angry. So, he so left with the, with down zero interceptions. And let's not speak on the defense. Ray Lewis having 13 tackles every Yeah, let's not. Game. Let's not. Let's not speak on the defense. 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions. You can't talk about the defense. playoffs. I mean, you, 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 have can't, a, you can't talk about the have, defense because we ranked when, second last year. When you have when you have an elite defense, you're supposed you to be. We got an elite defense. Like we I'm have an elite defense this. for the last I'm couple I'm, years. Oh, oh, somebody in the chat said Flacco ain't deserve a contract. Flacco, how Flacco ain't deserve a contract when he went out and got a y'all talk this MVP shit? Flacco got a Super Bowl MVP. That's literally the MVP of all MVPs. That's what y'all playing the game for. How was Joe Kai? How was Joe Kai? He had 12 touchdowns, zero interceptions in the postseason. If he was never if he was in the Super Bowl, he would have never even had an MVP, bro. If you never had 11 bro. touchdowns, zero interceptions, he would have never he would have never been in a Super Bowl. Hey, bro, I'm ready to drop the link so you can. Uh, yeah, 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 everybody welcome. Hold on. I already said, drop well, I already said let's, not, let's not forget uh, the Denver Miracle. The defense wasn't playing that good. We don't forget also about the. Uh, that was a, that was 35 something points put up on, on a Broncos. Come on, so, man. Against a, a Hall of Famer. Okay, okay. Against a Hall now, of Famer. This is my problem with these Lamar people. When they say MVP from 2019, I'm supposed right. to just I'm supposed to just do this. Bro, we can't pay but I feel like, off of old, I feel like old look, old look, stuff. I feel like when I say 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions in a playoff stretch, I feel like everybody's supposed to just be quiet and respect that. It go right over there. Come head. on, bro. How that go over, nigga Donald? Let's not forget Lamar Man, Jackson. In the post, Lamar Who Jackson that? in the postseason got three got three touchdowns and, and five interceptions in all three of his games. That he, my bad, all four <laughs> games he played. Come on, bro. y'all can't y'all not y'all can't compare that boy yo, to Flacco. Yo, Lamar hey, probably hey. don't got fifteen hundred yards hey. in all listen, the playoff listen. games he played, bro. Listen, y'all Flacco got me probably down. got more. He got more y'all yards. Got me in down bad because I can't get to no stats right now. So I'm gonna let y'all have it. Art. Thank you. She said that's a work of art. Shout out, shout out to uh, Supercharge doing this thing. Oh, we got to add. We got to add. Yeah, we got to add that. I, I, I dropped the link. Click that link and get up here, man. Click that link and get up here. I think that's my guy on Instagram. I hope it is. He's talking crazy. Man. Man. He played that playoff game was phenomenal. Are you talking about the one they want to with the helmet catch? That was a cool day. They almost so, got beat that so game. Y'all, so y'all, so you were praise the Eli Manning run. We can't praise the Flacco run. Only, guys, guys, guys. Only, only Joe Montana and Joe Flacco got 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions, if y'all didn't know that. They the only two people that have that's done that. What's your they the only two that? people. That's how, how, how that's, how that's, br- how that's brushed over, bro. Like Coach Campbell said, Lamar got he probably got uh fifteen hundred yards total in every in all four years. I don't even think he got that. Bro, I don't understand how we. I don't know how he got that. He's talking about the Lamar. I don't, I don't think. I don't think Lamar got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is my guy. Hold on. Let me have my guy. Hold on. Listen. Let me give him the floor. Let me give him the floor. 